Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 492. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay Adventure Nintendo Switch release date set for May 27th. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, the G5 game announced a few weeks ago has finally gotten a release. <coughs> a real list. Blah, blah, blah. A real listing. We re mm. we really are getting a full on console game. So for only a Nintendo Switch copy is up, but based on the company and their other works, it is sorry, it will be hitting other consoles and PC. We don't have confirms of that yet though. Okay, um uh, this is a bit of a mm, not really, um, how to put this, there are updates to the news, um, yeah, not this one, not this one, yes, this one. Uh, it seems that the game is coming out on May 27th, and it will be on PlayStation 4, Xbox Series S, uh, X and S, Xbox One, uh, Switch, and Steam, PC, to be exact. So yay, um, I'm excited for it, but, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How do I put this? My expectation will be tempered. Tempered. Um, it's it's not a hardcore Devil May Cry style game or whatever it is, or um, them fighting hurts. No, no, no. It's just gonna be something simple, something um, nice. So let's see what <clears throat> the game is going to be. Okay, um, play as Sunny, uh, play as Sunny the Adventurous of Pony, unlock Pony skills and accessories, uh, explore Maritime Bay, two player can put on a fashion show, hurt bunnies and more, uh, bring back magic to Equestria and play with the new generation of My Little Pony characters. In an adventure full of fun, fashion and good friends. Earth Pony Sunny wants to make the world a better place by hosting Maritime uh, Maritime Bay Day, a forgotten celebration of friendship and magic, but some pony is out to spoil the celebration. They and they're stealing cakes, letting bunnies loose and even spoiling pips paintings. Oh no <clears throat> uh, only you can uh, grab okay, screenshots and whatnot. <laughs> okay, um, down to earth, simple kids game. Nothing to, nothing to advance. So, kids from four to up can play. I guess. Uh, nothing. Added here from the um, trailers, but yeah. Oh, okay. Here's here's a box for the PS4 and Xbox One. That's about it. So yeah, um, this this week's news is all over the place. I, I probably should combine them all. But yeah, um, my thoughts on this. It's it's great that we're. Getting a game now, better late than never, right? But I got no idea what we're going to get. From the description, it's just going to be very simple. Uh, you jump around, you collect stuff. It's basically uh, similar to Banjo Kazooie or similar to that kind of thing. But since this is Hasbro, Things might dumb, be dumbed down a bit uh, in terms of its challenge. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I hope that the game is going to be fun. But Alright Games, they're the company that are making it. And they've been making a few um, IP games. Um, we got the Pound Puppy one, we got the Fast and Furious one. We also got um what what else did they make? I forgot. But still um we, we got 
to that caliber. <sighs> Not Paw Puppies, Paw Patrol, yeah. But still, um, they established that's the kind of game they made. So, <sighs> real question is, um, if it's a full price game, sixty dollars, would you buy it? Personally, for me, no, man, no. Um, I'll buy it thirty five dollars. It's it, it it's not worth sixty in my opinion. Like this is one of those games where I have a strong feeling that it will go on discount pretty fast. But anywho, those are my opinions, and let's go on to the next news. <clears throat> New Renegade Games officially My Little Pony RPG materials now listed deck building game RPG rules and more. Alrighty then. Oh, RPG. <clears throat> Renegade has officially dropped off their entire catalog of RPG content they plan to release this year. Pre orders are now available on their website for die, RPG book, character sheets, and they're full of deck building games and more. Right down below. Okay, so role playing game called Rulebook. Uh, pre-order now for a Q3 release. For a limited time, uh, for a limited time, pre-orders will come with a PDF copy of My Little Pony role-playing game called Rulebook at no additional cost. Any orders cancellation involving a free PDF will only refund the price of the physical book minus price of PDF. Okay, cool. Uh, magic in the My Little Pony RPG players can craft their own custom ponies to use in their storytelling game of friendship and magic as they combat various threats and other problems in Equestria and beyond throughout the, their adventures led by their game master. The game master can Use pre-written adventures in the core rule book and supplements, or use adventure book, <coughs> or use adventure hooks presented in books to create all, all new adventure. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, create your own unique Mother Pony full rule book for running your own Mother Pony role playing game. One game master leads the story while with a group of players. Contains introduction, uh, introductionary adventures for the new team. Full color handbook over tr Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, <clears throat> uh, this one is very fun for me right now. Like I mentioned before, <coughs> I am running, or I am playing um, Dungeons and Dragons, and this is it in terms of pony form. So, um, what this is is basically that. Um, previously we did have the oh other book from man I, I forgot but you know what give me a second to grab that yeah give me a second to grab that I am going to yep give me a second this is going to be very awkward for a bit it's going to be a lot of silence I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <sighs> Give me a second. Alrighty then. Alright, cool. So, this here, um, camera, you know what? Let's go full cam for this one. Way back in the days, there's this. Uh, it's called My Little Pony Tales of Equestria. And if I remember right, this is also a RPG book, but. Um, when I started playing this, um, or when I started, when I first bought this book, I wasn't playing d and so I got no idea how uh, D&D works or how the game is played. So, now that I do, things are kind of in perspective now. So, um, 
I got no idea the difference between this and that and what the what you call this what the Avengers going to be uh, yeah but this is basically the player's handbook uh, sorry thank you alright <coughs> So yes, um, that was My Little Pony Tales of Equestria and this is the RPG, the core rulebook. Um, what system they're running on? Is it the open license um, Roll20, um, the uh, D5 system or so on? We got no, I, I got no idea. I, I need to take a look, see inside and see what it says. But let's move on to other parts. The My Little Pony Adventures of uh, Avengers in Equestria deck building game pre-order. Uh, this one is a bit interesting, uh, like I mentioned before. Uh, each player builds a deck and tries to create a uh, scenario. Well, each player creates a deck where they can help each other to finish or deal with the scenario that will be happening on the board. Um, I, I there's the video of them uh, play testing it and. Um, playing it and it is really interesting and cool uh and honestly i got no uh mm, i have very limited experience when it comes to deck building games but if you're talking about magic the gathering where you kind of build a deck and fight against each other, another person that's something else okay the feature is cooperative deck building game Play as the main six, uh, gather allies, actions, and artifacts to improve your deck, travel around Equestria to complete tasks and overcome challenges. <coughs> Seems like something fun. Um, I would probably buy this and try to play with my group of friends who are not pony-centric, but eh. And what is this? Uh, My Little Pony Role Playing Game Deluxe Core. Okay, this is basically the top one, but with more character journal. Mm. I think it's just a piece of book where you can just um, buy character sheets and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind buying this. This this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Yep. So this is a one one. Yep. This this looks like fun. This looks like fun. Uh, Gem Adventure GM screen. Ah, yes. This is the piece of cardboard that you put in front of you so your players can see whatever you're doing. Uh, the dice bag, and yeah, <clears throat> basically, hmm. I want to, I, I don't really want to say that this company's doing better than the previous one because the previous one had a lot of things going on for it. Uh, it had the same things, uh, dice. DM screens and so on. I'm just wondering what happened to. Mm, who are you again? Shazam? Oh. River Horse. Yeah, I wonder what happened to River Horse. Like, they had the license before, but now it's been given to. Um, <clears throat> Renegade, uh, Renegade Games, yep, it's been given to them now, so it's interesting to see what we'll get. I do hope it's going to be fun, um, I'll be, I'll be excited to see what this can be done with. And here is the uh, stream that they did on Twitch to show off their gameplays and whatnot. Uh, this is not it, uh, uh, and yeah, and last news for the week is official Pip Petals ASMR release for a website called Cla Calm. If you want Pip Petals softly talking into your ear for an hour, we've got a new official ASMR over uh, of her over on a website called Calm.com. Apparently, they focus on things like. Uh, like this, they also use Sophia Carson, who will not be voicing her in the series. So this is your last chance to hear that version of her voice. You can find 
Princess for a day over here. It does require an account. Um, I click on it, I check it out, and I did not make an account. Um, oh man, well, you know what? I'm going to Google search what does ASMR mean, and I'm going to go for full screen because the internet is a scary place. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, this is safe enough. Uh, ASMR is Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It is described as an intense, uh, intense, uh, intensely uh, pleasing, tingly sensation obtaining in the scalp and neck. Okay, um, that's cool. That is cool, that is cool, let's, let's not focus on you anymore. So, um, basically is, but the, but the other factor of ASMR is, um, people speak in hushed tones to make people relax, or other things that can do similar things is hearing the, uh, sound of a lawnmower going, cutting grass and whatnot, and that is one of those feelings that kind of make you feel ah pleasant, relaxing, or waterfalls, yeah, r rainy days are also cool, so those, to me, in my personal opinion, counts as ASMR, but if you want me to talk like this, no, that's just freaking annoying, no, um, no, 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 I can't, <clears throat> no, so, um, Go try it out. If you tried it, do let me know how was it and how is it. It's gotta be. You know what? I'm gonna read the EQD comment. Uh, Celestia, what do we have here? Um, goodness me. Yeah. Okay. No. Done. 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 Uh. Anyway, that is the news for this week. So, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing my day or week. Um, <clears throat> a few things happen. Uh, League Four of the Commander, um, of the MTG Commander League, for my local uh, game shop has started. Played a few deck, uh, no, played a deck that I kind of enjoyed. Uh, going to week two, I'm still going to use the same deck. Uh, uh, I'm not going to bog down with that. I'm just going to tell you basic stuff. So yeah, I've been doing that, um, play D&D, &D, and that one is going to be great adventures. Uh, a lot of funny moments happen. Uh, if you're interested in watching that silly adventure going on, uh, it's recorded and uploaded on my personal channel uh, at Norman Sanzo. Uh, other than that, um, we, the state of Johor, where I'm at, we recently had our local elections and I participated in it and one of the cool uncool things is that um, my finger now is inked and you're probably wondering um, why? why did, what does that have to do with elections if you're not from Malaysia and don't understand? Um, this is their way of um, preventing cheaters and what they do is or the idea is that once you're marked, you're already voted and you can't vote again. So you can't participate or you can't cheat your way in, uh, cheat um, in double voting and so on. Because uh, there's been cases and so on, blah, blah, blah. But politics, people find a way to cheat, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Um, did my civil duty, that, that's done, don't want to think about it. <clears throat> so now, um, in other news, I did a bit of the review and discussion podcast. Yes, um, there's going to be uh, sorry, uh, there's going to be a uh, new review out. So yeah, um, do check that one out. Yeah. So anyway, um, let's wrap things up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dimensionrumor.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show and my personal Twitter account, uh, my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, 
Please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVlive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, probably Totera and other guests reviewing Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies, and other things other than ponies. We like to do cartoons, animes, manga comics, movies, and video games. Yes, we are a very eclectic crew of people. Uh, let's see, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review, discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, myself, like, and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the VS Show. See ya!